Today we're going super simple. We have the makings of everything we need and you probably do too. It's March 4th, it's National Pound Cake Day. Easiest thing ever to make it yourself. Eggs, flour, sugar, butter, pinch of salt. Today we're adding a little vanilla to ours. That's it. You probably have everything right now in your cupboards that you need to make this. Okay, and super simple, 350 oven, preheating, on now. Got our mixer. We're going for this one today. Super simple. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so for today you need two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. You need two cups of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, four large eggs. We're doing a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract with ours today, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a loaf pan. First thing we're going to do today is get our muffin pan ready. So I'm just going to spray this. It is a silicone pan. Hopefully it'll make it easier to get it out, but even still we want to make sure we grease it. And then I'm taking a piece of parchment paper long enough that it sticks out the sides like this because that'll help too make it easier to just pop our pound cake right out. Okay. Now once I put that in, I'm also going to spray it again on the paper. Okay, just set that aside. That's all ready to go, and we'll start our batter for our pound cake. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do, like we do with most of our baking stuff, is we're going to cream our butter with our sugar. Okay, so I have our beater attachment on our mixer. I have two sticks of unsalted butter softened at room temperature. Okay, make sure all your ingredients today, your eggs and your butter, everything is softened, room temperature. Okay. And we're going to beat that with our sugar. Okay, and then once you see that you have your butter and sugar, it's creamed really nice, mixed in thoroughly, we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Room temperature eggs, okay? Alrighty, and then once you see that your eggs have been incorporated in, we're going to add our salt and our vanilla. Alrighty, and then the last thing you're going to do is switch your mixer to low and you're going to add your flour a little bit at a time, okay? Now the trick with this one, with this pound cake, is as soon as you see that your flour is incorporated, stop. This is one of those batters you do not want to over mix because the more you over mix it, the denser your pound cake is going to be, the stiffer it's going to be. You'd like to have a nice fluffy pound cake. Okay, so as soon as you see that you're, as soon as you add that last bit of flour and you see it's incorporated, done, shut it off. Okay, if there is anything to scrape, you can just add and scrape it by hand once you take this out. And that's it. There's your batter for your pound cake, okay? So we are going to get this ready and put it into our loaf pan. Okay, so there's our loaf pan all ready to go. Now the thing I love about this recipe and the simplicity of a pound cake, like I said, it's just like five ingredients that you have in your house already, is this makes a great base and then you can add anything you want to this. So I realized I had some leftover uh, milk chocolate chips and white chocolate chips. I'm going to dump those right in and add some chocolate to our pound cake today. Okay, it's already a vanilla based pound cake, so what's a little chocolate? That'll just add a little zip to it. You can add anything you like to this. Um, if you want to leave out the vanilla and just make a plain pound cake, but then maybe add some fruit if you want, some 
craisins or raisins or whatever. You know, I hate raisins, so why ain't I adding that? Um, but, you know, anything like that. So we added some chocolate chips to ours. And now we're just going to put this right into our loaf pan. There it is. All ready to go in the oven. 350 oven. We're going to bake this for about an hour. Now, with all baking, like I always say, keep your eye on it. About 40 minutes in, we're going to check it to make sure. Sometimes it'll start to brown a little too much on the outside before the inside is fully cooked. So if you see that starting to happen, you just want to tent it lightly with some foil. Okay, and that'll keep the heat in and bake the inside more than continue cooking the outside. So at least you can get a full bake all the way through. Check it with your fork or your pin or whatever you use to check. Comes out clean. It's all done. Alrighty, see you in about an hour for this one. Okay, let's see what we got. see I tented it halfway through because it was exactly what they say it was browning on the outside we wanted to make sure it cooked more on the inside perfect we're just going to check it with a fork make sure it's clean yep perfect all righty let this one cool down about 10 minutes, then we're going to take it out and put it on a wire rack to cool the rest of the way. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to slice a piece here. Always use a serrated knife because that way it won't break your pound cake up when you're cutting it. Okay, so there's the inside of our pound cake there. Okay, see our chocolate chips and our white chocolate chips, and let's give it a taste. Mm. Nice and moist inside. Sweetened up nicely with the with the chocolate chips and the white chocolate chips. Beautiful. See, my favorite thing with the pound cake is when you slice it. If you put it in a pan and you a little bit of butter and you crisp it up on both sides, really, really nice. And you can do so much with a pound cake. I mean, you can serve it so many different ways. Put some slices, grill it, like I said, to heat it up. And put some vanilla ice cream on it, whipped cream, dress it up. You can put some fruit compote over it. However you like the pound, or just have it with coffee in the morning, which is probably what I'm going to do too. Alrighty, pound cake day everybody. See you tomorrow.